team, the purpose of this video is to explain to you how to use code.org. In today's lesson, we're going to start inside Clever. After you get into Clever, you are going to move about two thirds of the way down the screen, and then you will find this button right here that says code.org. Your class has already been set up and you are ready to go, so click one time on this button. When you click one time on this button, you will land at a space that looks like this. Now, it all depends on what grade level you are. You might have a different course. However, most of what you see on this screen is going to be very similar to what you see when you arrive. During the course of this coding experience, you will see these long buttons that say unplugged activity. When you get to these, um, it is my suggestion to you to skip those because those are not resources that your teacher will provide. Those are not lessons your teacher will host. If you are brand new to this resource, you're going to come right here where you see the very first diamond. And your very first diamond is probably going to be hosted inside whatever this second lesson is. When you click on this diamond, it will probably take you to some instructions or maybe even a video. If you see a video on this screen, it's your job to play that video and watch that video and learn the vocabulary and the strategies that you see inside of that video. Now, depending on the size of your screen, you might not see the continue button right here. If you don't see the continue button, then it would be your job to scroll down the screen just a little bit. So watch the video first and then click the continue button. When you click the continue button, it's going to take you into the next lesson. So you'll see this little dashboard up here letting you know your progress. When you arrive in that next part of the lesson, it could be activity number two, you will see instructions located up at the top letting you know what the goal for that activity is. Once you have read those instructions, you can click the OK button and then the rest of the screen will turn bright. You'll notice how it was kind of shaded a second ago. Sometimes you'll see some instructions located right here, letting you know what else is expected of you. You can click the X right here in order for that to disappear. Over here, this is your game space. So your game space is going to apply anything that you have asked the computer to do over here. So you have your toolbox right here. You have your workspace located right here. Once you have moved all of the blocks over here into this area, and you are ready to solve the puzzle, that's when you click the Run button. Now, these two blocks that I brought over, those aren't needed because the code is perfect. This is one space, and this is one space. It's my job to get the bird over to the pig, and all I have to do is move forward two times. So I'm going to So I'm going to click the run button in order for my bird to move over and then right here it lets me know whether or not I have completed that task successfully or if I need to fix something. So right here I'm going to click the continue button and it's going to take to the next puzzle. It's my job to read the instructions at the top. Drag an extra move forward block out of the toolbox to finish your code. It is important for me to move this block over in order to solve the puzzle because if I don't, the bird's only going to move forward one, two times, and it's not going to finish. So let's see what happens. I moved forward twice, and oh, I have some instructions that popped up right here. It says, keep coding. Something's not quite right. So, okay, now this is where you problem solve, and then you go back to the drawing board to figure out how to solve the puzzle. I'm going to move that one block over because I didn't move that one block over, now I'm going to click the reset button. After I click the reset button, I'm going to click the run button. And now the bird is going to move over three times. I have successfully completed this puzzle. Now I have permission to click the continue button. Because Mrs. Culver has solved these puzzles already, some of the answers are already here. In this situation, I'm going to go ahead and click start over. That way I undo anything that was already done. Anything? So they may have started the coding process for you, but there are a few hiccups or a few problems in here, and then it's your job to fix that. So the bird needs to only move forward one time because if he moves forward two times, then he would land over here, and that's not okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and take these blocks apart. And then I'm going to come down a little bit down here to where it says turn left. I'm going to click and drag because I only want to take this one piece out. Kind of like a puzzle, I'm taking those pieces apart. And then I want to attach these guys back here and then click those into spot. And then you can either leave this one here because the computer's going to ignore it because it's not attached. Your other option is that you can turn it over here and then you can delete it and then let go of it right here. So let's check our steps to see if that's going to work. I'm going to click step one time. My bird moves over one step. And then the next step is turn left. Okay, so turn left. And then let's see what the next step is. And then you'll notice how this golden box appears. It's letting me know what step I'm on. And then I can click step again and look at that. I have made it to the goal. So now I'm ready to move on. I can click the continue button and then I can move on to the very next puzzle. So team, sometimes you're debugging. That means you're fixing problems. And other times you're actually um, dragging the code in all by yourself. And one thing I want to mention to you, when you drag a block in, these are called blocks, sometimes there's a drop down menu right here and you can make changes inside of the drop down menu. Your other option is just to bring the other one over instead. So take mistakes away, uh, bring new blocks in. It is absolutely okay to make mistakes. This is a safe place to make mistakes. So make as many mistakes as you need to in order to solve that problem. Use your arms or your hands or your body to figure out how to move left or how to move right or even stand up if you need to. Coding is awesome and I hope you enjoy this experience. Have a great day.